He is known for his broad education and training in various musical disciplines, including keyboard instruments, violin, composition, and singing. He began his musical career at a young age, singing and playing organ in church and performing in the Hamburg Opera. He served as a cantor at St. Mary's Cathedral in Hamburg before retiring in 1728 due to increasing deafness. His name is Johann Matheson. In the world of music, one name stands out for his incredible talent and diverse accomplishments, Johann Matheson. Born into a well-to-do family, Matheson's passion for music was evident from a young age. He received a comprehensive education, including training in various musical instruments and composition. By the tender age of nine, Matheson was already showcasing his talents as a singer and organist in church, and even performing with the Hamburg Opera. As he grew older, Matheson's voice changed, prompting him to switch from singing to the tenor role at the opera. Not content with just performing, he also took on the responsibility of conducting rehearsals and composing his own operas. Matheson's contributions to the opera scene in Hamburg were highly regarded, and he was appointed as the cantor at St. Mary's Cathedral in 1718. However, Matheson's career took an unexpected turn when he began working as a diplomat in 1706. Fluent in English, he became the tutor to the son of the English ambassador and later served as the ambassador's secretary. Matheson traveled on diplomatic missions, representing the ambassador abroad. In 1709, he married Katharina Jennings, the daughter of an English clergyman, but they did not have any children. Despite his diplomatic work, Matheson's love for music remained unwavering. Throughout his life, he composed numerous works, leaving a lasting impact on the field of music. His compositions showcased his mastery of various musical genres, including operas, which he had a deep understanding of from his time with the Hamburg Opera. Matheson's dedication to music and his multifaceted talents truly make him a legendary figure in the history of music. In the world of music, Johann Matheson was not only known for his compositions but also for his extraordinary friendship with George Friedrich Handel. Their bond, however, was tested in a dramatic incident during a performance of Matheson's opera Die und Glückselige Cleopatra, Konigin von Egypten in 1704. In a sudden quarrel, Matheson nearly took Handel's life, but fate intervened when a large button on Handel's clothing deflected Matheson's sword. Miraculously, Handel survived the encounter. Despite the violent altercation, the two composers managed to reconcile and their friendship grew stronger than ever. They continued to correspond throughout their lives, sharing their musical aspirations, experiences, and ideas. Matheson's admiration for Handel was so profound that after his friend's passing, he took it upon himself to translate John Mainwaring's biography of Handel into German. In 1761, Matheson published the translated biography in Hamburg, bearing the expenses himself. Matheson's dedication to preserving Handel's legacy is a testament to the deep connection they shared. Their friendship transcended personal differences and the tumultuous incident that could have severed their bond forever. Matheson's translation of Handel's biography not only honored the memory of his dear friend but also ensured that future generations would have an insight into the life and work of one of the greatest composers of all time. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.